What is going on YouTube? Zero Lead here, back again with a new video, episode 47 of the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial. Just want to thank you again for tuning into today's video. If you haven't, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and helping me in supporting the channel. I definitely appreciate that. And today we got a couple of things to work on. We're going to be focusing on our Starship Bridge. And you can see I'm up inside our bridge and I've done one tiny tiny thing off camera i've put a dark gray block in the very center of our uh, area here and you can see that we have our hull lines that are meeting up in the center so that's how i was able to determine that it made life very easy So what we're going to go ahead and do is I replace that with the yellow block. And now we're just actually going to fill a lot of this in. Um, we're going to do a row of dark, two rows of dark gray going all the way around. And then we're going to take out each corner. All right. And now we're going to add a block, white block in each corner, and then we're just going to add a layer going all the way around. This will be our circle, and then we can delete some of the blocks in the center here and replace that with half slabs. Or I should say we can re uh, delete all those uh, dark blocks in the center. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in the rest of this flooring. And we're going to fast forward a little bit after I fill all this in, because it takes just a, a minute or two. So you guys can go ahead and do the same thing. And we're almost caught up. All right. So we have our flooring in and now above us, we have a gray line that's hanging down. We're gonna delete that, get rid of that access. We don't need it. We don't want our roof to come down this far. We don't have a ton of room to work with for the bridge. So we're going to have to make use of whatever space we have. Because this version Enterprise, uh, I made the bridge smaller as opposed to my uh, Enterprise A. Now my back wall here, you can see I'm just going off of these white blocks in the floor. This was our orig original plot for our circle so i'm not adding anything else i'm just working off of what we originally had to get the back of that circle going and now we're going to take out all these center blocks then we can replace that with half blocks now for whatever reason while i'm doing this tutorial if i'm not getting specific enough on something or if you just have a general question or if you get stuck drop a comment below I'm usually pretty responsive in the comment section i'll try to see what i can do to help you out um, also if there's any builds that you guys want to see me do drop a comment below definitely be getting a lot of requests um, still my number one build request that i've gotten at this time is uh Voyager and Enterprise D, so those ships are definitely the next ones on my list. Um, I want to hop back into what I got going on here. You can see I have two red blocks that are double wide, and in the middle I have a dark gray. And then behind that we did two rows of half slabs. Just This is not going to stay there. That's just more or less uh, a temp, just to visualize where the console is going to go. So now we're back in the back end of our bridge, and we're going to try to fill in this back wall. It's giving us some issues here, but it's not really that big of a deal because I believe we're going to actually have, have to add another layer to this. got a little bit of room behind it, but we're just going to close that in because we don't really have enough room back there to put a full room in so unfortunately we're just going to have to close it off we'll say the one exception with my enterprise that differs from the one in the show is that uh the enterprise on discovery actually had a hallway going around the bridge um my enterprise doesn't have it and it's simply just because again when i built this i've redesigned the bridge 
the way I usually do it, like on my Enterprise A, and it ended up coming out a lot smaller, so I didn't have a ton of room to work with on the inside, so I couldn't really add it, but at the end of the day, I don't think it's something that anybody's going to miss, so we'll just move on from it. This uh, first part of the video was actually originally going to be episode 47, but I didn't want to spend seven minutes just filling in the flooring uh, and just pretty much having a prep video. So um, I'm going to be merged. The first part of episode 47 will be this episode and the second part will be um, we'll be getting much more into the bridge. All right, so we have our back wall in. So we've got a pretty good idea on how much room we have to work with here. So basically what we're going to have to do is make the back end look a little bit more curved. And on this white line going around the gray one, we're going to add a layer of half slabs. Because we want to get some detailing in on the roof. A little bit here. But we're not also going to be able to come down very far, too. That's something we also have to consider. On the sides, we're just going to add a row of white concrete on each side and right and left. Now, I can't reach these dark gray ha or these black uh, half slabs, so I'm going to have to delete some of the flooring here just so I can delete those. And then we're going to uh, layer in the front as well. And that's just what it's going to take uh, to get it right. Um, we're just going to have to gradually uh, add layer by layer until we get the desired shape that we want. But it's not going to be too bad. And a dark gray block going literally just around the window. I don't know if that's going to stay like that. Again, just trying to get some ideas on what I want to do here. I know what the picture looks like, which now would actually be a great time. Just to hop back and do a refresher on that because I've um, been so busy trying to catch up um, on the builds here that I haven't... Um, been showing as much as the screenshots as I'd like to. So, <coughs> excuse me. So this is what the bridge actually ended up as. And you can see the cut right here. There's a hallway going behind the bridge. But we don't have that much room to work with. We're really only going to be able to do this portion in here. But we're not going to be able to really get any of this, a lot of this detailing in. We're just not going to be able to do it on Minecraft. But we have an idea of what we have to go with. We have to basically do a circle for our bridge within an inner circle that dips down for our console here. And we have to have some computer consoles in the back and then on the sides as well. And then uh, front, the window is pretty big, but again, kind of got to work with what we got going on here. So in the middle, I'm going to add two white concrete slabs, two rows coming down. Three is going to be too much, so we're going to have to take away one. I'm trying to see what we can do here in the middle, because if you saw in the concept, or not the concept art, in the picture of the bridge, it had like this ring here in the center. So that's what we're building right here. So you can kind of visualize what we're going for. So you can see looking at the back here, and especially on the sides, we're not there yet. Uh, we've got to curve it out a little bit. And then even the front. You can see I'm adding two layers of blue on each side of the, of the um, windows, two rows going to the left and right. 
because I know that I'm going to have to build my circle off of those windows because they have to be there. I'm just going to switch back to the white. And you can see I'm just building along with the cut here. Again, trying to, to use the pattern that we currently have to see if that will work. But we're, I don't know if we're going to be able to go two back again after the um, second one. I think on the third one, we're going to have to just go straight across. Because it doesn't go that far back. All right, well. Yeah, let's take that down. It doesn't look too great. Not really feeling that all that much. This is definitely one of the downsides to building these ships on here because this is the part where you can't rely on a pixel circle generator or anything. You just kind of have to start putting stuff down to see what will work. Um, we're just going to have to add in a good amount of layering on the back here. Now, I'm trying not to skip that far ahead because I know that in the back portion here it didn't do that much. See, the reason why it's not letting me do that is because they're just half slabs up here. I don't know why it does it like that in Minecraft. Normally, it's because it's a different type of half slab, but I feel like it's uh, that's a new thing with me not being able to add the same type of half slab underneath it like that. Kind of weird. All right. I don't think uh, we've got anything left to do on this one. So now we're going to hop over into part two. Okay. You can see I'm just doing another layer going around our inner circle. We can get rid of this. That was just kind of a guideline. I'm not even sure this is going to stay like that. It is kind of um, octagony. You see what I'm doing? I'm adding it one white on each side. I'm going to try to wing it here and build out a better circle. This size, we can get away with doing stuff like that. But again, I'm telling you, do not attempt to do this on a large scale circle because it's going to get distorted. I've just done enough of these that I can wing doing a circle like this. We do the same thing in this corner. Perfect. Now we're going to get rid of that white concrete. And I think we're going to add in another row of half slabs to make this just a little bit bigger. I think this shape will ultimately work a little bit better than what we had before. Looks a little bit more like a circle. All right, we got two more. Perfect. Yeah, see that that's uh that looks way better than what we had going on before. So now we just got to figure this wall out. 
So on our existing wall, you see I'm just adding a layer. High up as I can go straight across. Uh, basically, I came forward too. I'm trying to build the wall off that because, again, I'm thinking that I've got way too much room back here. And I'm adding another row on each side. That could maybe work. Because I'm also trying to gauge how much room I'm going to have back here on the sides of putting my turbo lifts. Um, I think originally when I was designing this, I intended to have a turbo lift on this side and this side, but um, I just made the decision that I was going to have the turbo lift on the right. So you can see I got rid of the blocks in the middle, and now we're just going to angle it out on the sides. If you do this right, should hopefully meet up with our windows. I'll add another layer up top. We can fill this in too. You take out that middle one. We're going to do the same thing right here. Because we're going to make like a hull line, kind of like inside the bridge. It'll give it like a little bit more detail. It'll look good. Now the top row, we're adding a layer out. That doesn't look too bad. But we got to figure out how to make that blend in towards the window. See, uh, do a cut right there for the door. Maybe one over. That could work. And we're just going to go ahead and angle towards the front. Make sure we're getting rid of the access. Probably do one more. Let's sign out another row on the front side. I see we have just a little bit of a gap in the front on the other side of the wall, but don't worry about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. All right, let's do that same thing on the other side. All right, we need to get back inside the bridge. I don't want to delete that because 
Looks like there was a couple of rows in there. I wasn't sure where I was coming in at. All right. Let's get rid of that half slab. And then we got to get rid of the other one. Now we're going to add a row of half slabs going in front of uh, the windows. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm not sure what it is about this layer of half slabs. It was coming out too far. So we're going to adjust this and have it coming out just over the, um, the dark gray instead of the white concrete. And I got one more side to do. You know, let's take out the corners so it doesn't look so much like a square. We're going to have to fix that right there in the front. Basically, we're going to have to just cut away the two corners. So if I take those away, then that's exposing the top. So hmm. we need the white stairs. We're going to add one on the side here and then one facing up. So we get that nice bracket shape. We're going to do that on all three sides. That one's a little high. We'll have to put a block up top and then another one. Or we can put a block in the middle too. On this side, we do half slabs. Don't want to do in the middle because these are going to be our consoles. Okay. Not sure how far that out that's going to come. Just trying to get an idea. Same thing going back at an angle, trying to plot out where my turbo lifts are going to go. Now, I'm not going to be able to make them this wide because I'm not really looking up to see how much room I have above me. Um, it's going to be tight in this room here, but we're going to manage. On each side, we're going to do a red strip, simulated doorway. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, that's looking, that's looking pretty good. It's starting to come together.
only problem is now there's not really that much room in the back here to fit a console. So we're just going to have to play with it and see where we end up. Um, we're definitely going to spend a couple of episodes working on the bridge, but not a lot. I think maybe two or three episodes, and then we'll be done with the bridge. But definitely want to make sure that we take the time to uh, to get it right, or as close as we can to, anyway. I should maybe do on this back wall here in between the doors is add another console. You can see I'm just layering, I'm adding another row. We're gonna get rid of these half slabs. Now we're going to fill that in. I don't know if coming out that far is going to be the way to go. Because now we're getting too too close. Get a half slab on each side there. Okay, good. This bottom row, we're going to cut those away. There we go. And that was really the reason for adding another layer here. So this is our doorway. We have a little bit more room here. And uh, that's really what it's coming down to. That um, just don't have a lot of room to work with back here. It may even get to a point that we might actually have to add another layer on the outside of the bridge. But I'm hoping that I won't have to do that. But when I do... The third episode of this, uh, I think um, when I go back for the final pass, um, that may end up being a thing. I don't know. But we'll, like I said, we'll cross that bridge once we get there. And we're at a red doorways again on each side. All right, looking pretty good. We're nearing towards the end of episode 47. Uh, we definitely got a lot done. We're gonna add a layer of half slabs going along this upper lip here. We can start to blend this in a little bit. It looks pretty good. And I think that's what we're going to have to do, just a two by two, because we're not really going to do it, be able to do anything bigger than that back here. Just because of the way that the walls uh, slope down. We really just don't have a lot of room to work with.
Yeah, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, make me delete those uh, half slabs, and I place it down again, and then it works that time. I can place a slab underneath that, but after you walk away from it, for some reason, it just doesn't let you place it down on it. I don't know why it's doing that. It's so weird. All right, and you can see I'm trying to replicate the design of our other turbo lift, even though this one is slightly smaller, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to make it work. You can see I deleted my flooring, and I'm making the base for our staircase. Now, I do do this for the other side, but um, like I said, I believe ultimately I just decided that um, I didn't want to have two turbo lifts going into the bridge. I just, you know, that was overkill. Then another reason too, you know, that that's a lot of um, the area that we're coming down into. I mean, directly underneath the bridge is going to be the medical bay. So that's something else to consider too. Um, I didn't want to have two areas right there going up into the bridge, in other words. But we'll get into that a little bit more later on. I think we're looking really good here. We've got a pretty good base to work off of. You guys can kind of see where the bridge is starting to come together now. I think it looks great, but we definitely have some more work to do as we move forward in our tutorial series. Um, but I do think that's going to wrap up episode 47. And I just want to thank you very much for tuning into today's episode. And uh, people that are sticking with me for this tutorial series, I'm doing this for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy this series as much as I, I've enjoyed doing it. And uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for episode uh, 48. And in fact, you can always catch new episodes Monday through Saturday. Uh, the only day I do not have new episodes coming out is on Mondays or excuse me, on Sundays. Uh, but Monday through Saturday, I have new episodes coming out. Um, there's definitely a lot of cool stuff coming up on the channel also. Um, I've got new arc builds I'm going to be doing weekly for you guys. They're going to be coming out on Monday. And I just got a new game, Starship Evo, um, which is basically like uh, Minecraft and Space Engineers, but um, better, in my opinion. And I'm really loving that game. Um, my goal on that is to make uh, full-scale starships on there. And it's cool because you can actually use them. And uh, I'm going to wait a little bit before I start recording videos on that because I want to get a little bit better at building. But it's really cool. And uh, I'm excited that I'm going to be able to start adding that on for you guys as well. So we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. But anyway, that's going to wrap it up for me. Just want to thank you guys again for tuning in to today's episode. And I will catch you on the next one.